So far we've learned how to set up VirtualBox for guest OS, install Ubuntu, and in this video we're going to install Unity 2D and learn how to switch between Unity and Ubuntu Classic. First things first, we need to log in. This is using the version of Ubuntu that I installed in our last video, Ubuntu 11.04 with Unity. It'll take just a moment to load up here. Using VirtualBox, just a little slow on my hardware, but all right. As you can see, we have the standard Unity bar down the left-hand side of the screen. Click and open up the dash. We're going to type in terminal. Now these commands will be made available in the comments on my blog and on the YouTube video as well. First off, the first command we need to type. Let me stretch our terminal screen here so we can see exactly what we're typing all in one line. Alright, there we go. Okay. Our first command should be sudo add dash apt dash repository space ppa colon unity dash 2d dash team forward slash unity dash 2d dash daily hit enter now you'll be prompted for your sudo password punch that in and hit enter okay we just added the unity repository to the system next we need to update apt so we're going to type in sudo apt dash get space update and hit enter uh, it'll scroll through a bunch of commands a bunch of PPAs that's being updated a bunch of repositories that's being checked once that's done you will notice down just above our blinking cursor you'll notice the word done so the updates complete now we're going to utilize that PPA the repository to download unity so you'll type in sudo apt dash get space install space unity dash 2d dash default dash settings and hit enter and if you'll notice it's going to take up just a little better than 46 megs of free disk space uh, once it's installed so it's going to ask if we want to continue we hit y for yes and hit enter and now it will go out and download unity 2d uh, the default settings and install it for us. This will take just a moment depending on your internet speed. My internet connection is a little slower where I'm at so we'll continue through the install. You'd mostly want to use Unity 2D if the stock Unity that comes included with Ubuntu is a little sluggish and slow Unity 2D is typically a little faster. Okay, it's done installing and downloading. We're going to exit out of the terminal. Just do so by type of exit and hit enter. You'll notice you still have the stock Unity bar down the left hand side of the screen. To change this, we're going to go to System Settings, scroll down to the login screen. This dialog is locked by default, so you can't accidentally change something and mess something up. So we'll click Unlock, punch in your password. And in the Select box here, you'll notice we now have Unity 2D. If you click on that, you're going to notice you have several different options. Uh, we're going to leave that at Unity 2D and click Close. To get into that System Settings applet, you can also click the dash and search for it. It takes you to the same exact place. You can change the setting there as well. I will close that. I'm going to go ahead and click log out. Actually, let's, I tell you what, let's go ahead and just do a restart. Um, that way anything that needs to be updated since we did install that can update and start fresh. So we'll reboot the virtual machine. Now you do the same thing with your PC if you're using a physical PC instead. Okay, now we're back at the login screen. Once you click on your account, password pops up. 
You'll notice down at the very bottom there's Unity 2D is our default selection. Uh, if you click that, you'll have your other options there. We can go back to the original Ubuntu or into Ubuntu Classic. Uh, you can also get into a safe mode here as well. Uh, we're going to go back to Unity 2D and we're going to click Log In. It'll take just a moment to, to start it up. And once it comes up, you will notice not a lot's changed. Uh, Unity 2D is now being used. Uh, Unity 2D uses Qt instead of OpenGL for its rendering, and so you get a nice responsive, you get a nice responsive dock bar. Uh, you'll notice that stuff is pretty much still in the same location on the bar. We'll open the software center, and that's that's pretty much how you install Unity 2D. Now some of you may be wondering how to completely get rid of Unity, how to go ahead and just use Ubuntu Classic. That's actually the method I prefer. I've just always liked Ubuntu Classic. Uh, so we'll go back into the login screen settings under the system settings applet. We'll unlock the screen here and we can change that option back to Ubuntu Classic. If you switch that to Ubuntu Classic, you're going to get your, your traditional Ubuntu desktop. Since we didn't actually install anything, we can just log out this time. Log out of the session. It'll take us back to the login screen. Click the account. And if you notice down at the bottom, you have the Ubuntu Classic option. Punch in the password and log in. Once it comes up, you'll notice we will now be using the standard Ubuntu desktop that came included with every Ubuntu release previous to Natty Narwhal. Uh, this takes just a moment on this virtual box. There we go. You notice we have our two our two uh, taskbars at the top and bottom of the screen. The menus are back to the way they traditionally have always been. We'll go back into the Ubuntu Software Center. See, there's no no change there. Uh, kind of puts everything back the way that people who are familiar with it prior to Natty uh, can can go back to this this default desktop environment and and they'll feel maybe a little more at home than at Unity. I know it worked that way for me. You can still go back and switch amongst the other desktop environments. Uh, we'll switch back to Unity 2D. I will log out, log back in just to demonstrate that. Uh, you can do this for the Ubuntu Classic, the Unity 2D, and the regular Ubuntu. By default, Natty Narwhal standard Ubuntu uh, does include Unity. So you're not going to see just a menu entry in that drop down for Unity. Uh, you'll only have Unity 2D, Ubuntu Classic, and your standard Ubuntu. As well as your, your Ubuntu Classic no effects and your, your safe mode. And just to demonstrate that Unity, the standard Unity is still there, we will go back to just standard stock Ubuntu. We'll log out again. You'll have to log out after every time you change this, this setting, uh, to get that to change. Otherwise, the next time you, you shut down or reboot the machine, it'll boot back up into that default condition. And once it comes back up, we'll notice that we are back in in standard Ubuntu 11.04 Natty Narwhal using the standard Unity dock bar. So if you're not happy with, with the standard Unity, uh, there are some other options. Uh, that's the way to go.